our next speaker. Uh, can I welcome George Klippel to the stage? George, you want to turn your camera on and join us? Live you will be giving away one year of L uh, Live you LRT, Live you Reliable Transport, along with a solo swag bag full of cool stuff. Welcome, George. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Eric. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Looking forward to it. Uh, let's kick things off. I believe, Live you, you have a short video message you want to share, and I think Steve will be playing that out for us. I'll let you take it away from there then. Yeah, great. So I'm going to share my screen if I can here and I will uh, get uh, the party started. And I hope everybody liked that uh, video that we had going there. I always enjoy that one. There we go. Thanks everybody again for being here. My name is George Klippel. I'm the director of channel sales with LiveView. And today we're here to talk about our LiveView Solo. It is one of our products that brings you the highest quality live streaming video from anywhere. So I am going to do a demo, I promise, but I do have a couple of quick slides that I want to run through with you. So first off, I, I want to, um, oh, sorry. There we go. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about the company, just in case you don't know who LiveView is. We were founded in 2006. We are the experts in live video solutions. Uh, we are the inventor and patent holder of IP-based video over bonded cellular network technology. Uh, we have about 5,000 customers, uh, end user customers, and that equates to around 20,000 units globally. And we're producing just a ton of content. And we have a wide product portfolio that's out there. Uh, portable units that are what we call encoders, uh, contribution encoders, decoders, IP-based solutions, but today we're really focusing in on this one product right here, what we call our entry level product, the LiveView Solo. Now it may be called entry level, but it has the same ingrained deep technology that all of our products, even at the highest end, which is our LU800 with 5G technology has inside of it. So what is the LiveView Solo? It's a wireless streaming encoder. It streams high quality and reliable video directly from a camera, or a switcher, if you will, to a social media platform, a CDN or any online destination that you want. It combines multiple internet connections for bonded streaming. And I'll explain that more in a little bit as we go through this presentation Then I'll show you at the end when we do our demo. The markets that are really designed for the solo is essentially almost any market you could think of, whether it's broadcasting, education, corporate and events, sports in particular, uh, houses of worship, conference trade shows, ad agencies, you name it, pretty much anyone out there today uses this product. Um, to name a few of our customers, uh, you may have heard of the Washington Post, the Huffington Post, BuzzFeed, uh, the Humane Society, Cirque du Soleil, MTV. Uh, this is just a few of the customers that are, are out there using the technology that we have. Plus, we have some really great technology partners, including Facebook and YouTube, Microsoft Teams, Twitch, Wowza and Akamai, to name a few. Now, I don't want to go into too deep of a technical uh, dive today, uh, but I, I know some of you out there love technology and love getting deep down into the dirt, so I'm going to go into it a little bit. But one connection is not enough when you're talking about streaming. So we leverage what is called bonding technology, and it's used by all of our products today and in our top broadcast products. So Solo combines up to four bonded network connections. Two of those connections are cellular and the other two are ethernet and Wi-Fi. 
And as I mentioned earlier, we'll take an SDI or HDMI camera input or an out output from a switcher into the device. And then we use those connections, the cellular, Ethernet, and Wi-Fi as essentially bonded together, bonding them together into a big fat pipe and send the signal out across the internet using our cloud bonding service. And it comes out the other end as an RTMP source or an RTMPS source and goes to any destination of your choice, Periscope, Restream, IO, LinkedIn, Wowza, you name it, it can go there. And that's essentially how it works. But the key to our success with LiveView Solo and a lot of our products is our patented LRT, which is what we call LiveView Reliable Transport. That does packet ordering, dynamic forward error correction, acknowledge and resend, and what we call adaptive bitrate encoding. Now, I'm not gonna read all the words underneath each one of these little areas, but essentially what these four things do is make sure that every time you're doing a stream, that all of your packets arrive in the right order and the way that they're supposed to arrive at the destination. So things like lip sync and, um, uh, you know, the quality of the video and the sync of the video is always in perfect sync. Um, and you can see this on the next slide that I'm going to show you. We did a, uh, a two-way test between a smartphone and uh, LiveView Solo using uh, LRT. And you'll see the example here as I scroll through this. The difference it is between a smartphone just using a single cell phone where a LiveView Solo is using multiple connections and our LRT. On the left is the smartphone, on the right is the Solo, and you can see the difference in the image quality where the LRT is able to use this packet ordering, forward error correction, et cetera, and gives you a much better signal quality as well as an image compared to that of what you get with just a smartphone trying to get a signal in the same area. My particular favorite is the little turtles here in the very beginning where you can really see the difference between uh, the quality of the image. And this is because of the LRT and the bonding of the two of the multiple sources together. Now, a couple of use cases um, in online news, for example, like the Huffington Post, they use Solo to promote event coverage, high profile interviews after some of the shows that they do to online chats for popular shows that they have. And they send these out to like Facebook Live. And this has really helped them uh, increase their audience share and participation. Uh, the London Theatre Company does the same thing for backstage live show interviews and they interview the actors that uh, go to the London Theatre Company and it really increase their live fan engagement, if you will. Houses of Worship, a huge audience for our solo users. Uh, Global Fire Creative in the UK, uh, when the global uh, pandemic hit with COVID-19, they were using the solo to stream funerals in the UK because people were not allowed to come out and pay the respects at funerals, for example. Um, so uh, Solo is used in many different ways. And um, again, uh, it's used by many different verticals out there in the world. And it's just a wonderful product that uh, is finding many different use cases. A lot of people ask about pricing, of course, and models. The models that we offer are the HDMI and the SDI. Uh, the HDMI model on its own stands at 995 MSRP and the Solo SDI model stands at 1495 MSRP. And then the LRT, the Live U Reliable Transport is $45 per month or 450 per year. Same thing for the Solo SDI. And these standalone models are what we call BYOM or bring your own modem. And that means basically you go out and you find your own modems, or if you already have modems, or if you're using just ethernet, you could use it with just ethernet or Wi-Fi. And that, that's the cheapest models that we have and the cheapest price points uh, that we have. And again, these are MSRP prices. But last year we offered something really cool and something very innovative. And this was brought on by requests by our many customers. They wanted a better out of the box experience. So we came out with something called Solo Connect where we're offering unlimited data plans that are through AT&T and Verizon just for our solo customers. So what we've done now is we include the unit plus certified modems and LRT plus a data plan we'll talk about in a second at one price. So now what you do is you actually can buy the unit plus either two modems or a three modem, what we call a starter kit. So you can get two modems at $450 or three modems at $650 
to add to your solo kit. So when you get it, it's all ready to go right out of the box, ready to stream. And how that changes things and the pricing is on the two modem kit for the HDMI, it's 1445 or uh, 1945 for the SDI. And on the three modem kit, it's 1645 or 2145 for the SDI unit. And just one other thing to point out on the three modem kit, you get an AT&T Nighthawk uh, um, uh, puck, if you will, which does both ethernet and Wi-Fi. So it gives you the ability to have uh, another connection that could do either or ethernet and Wi-Fi. So it's a pretty nice uh, selection with the third modem kit. And then finally, the unlimited data plan that I mentioned. So instead of going out and trying to get to data on your own, you can get a two modem plan, unlimited data plan for Verizon and AT&T at 295 a month or 2950 for the year, 435 a month for the three modem plan or 4350 for the year uh, for the three modem plan. So you save a little bit if you do the annual plan versus the month to month plan. And last but not least, before I jump into the demo, the Solo Connect, really the benefits of the whole thing is an excellent out of the box experience. You get everything all at once. And it's really, the nice thing about it is, is that you're ready to stream right away. All the equipment's provided by LiveView. It's certified and tested by us. One vendor to deal with for all your billing and support and the LRT is included with the purchase. So that's all of the slides that I have. I hope I didn't bore you there with the first few minutes of going through slides and, uh, and all that and whatnot, but I wanna move over and do the demo now and switch my screen over to uh, my, um, my uh, webpage. So I hope you can see my webpage now and not the PowerPoint anymore. Can you? <laughs> yeah, we're seeing the webpage. Okay, perfect. That's good news. I got that one right. So um, behind me, um, I hopefully uh, you can see I've got my camera here connected uh, to the unit. And I'm going to turn my camera on. And I want to show you guys the solo unit here. Um, so you'll see through the screen there, the solo unit, it's uh, pretty small. It's only weighs about a pound, fits in your hand. It uh, comes with the two modems. Uh, I, I've got the two modem kit here. Um, it has a it comes with a pouch already built in. It's a clip-on belt pouch that comes with it. Um, it has a little preview screen that can show you what's playing on the uh, camera that you've got plugged in. Uh, and it has a SDI and HDMI port on one side here. So I've got my HDMI plugged in and here's a little SDI cover for the SDI input on this side. On the other side, I've got an ethernet port for the for the plug-in for the ethernet and as they also mentioned it also has wi-fi built in but that's really it it's uh, real light and uh, easy to use you can also get a cold shoe mount for this so it can mount right on top of a camera if you want to use it that way so pretty uh, pretty easy pretty um simple to uh uh to connect and use and uh really plug and play simple the interface that you're looking at right here is called the solo portal and the solo portal is where you manage everything that um, you do with the solo. You can have uh, multiple units in the uh, solo portal. So if you're using more than one, they can all be uh, added here and managed um, through this one interface. And you see mine is called George's solo. So there, there it is right there. Um, you have the status window here, which tells you what your input is from your camera. Uh, the current bandwidth, we're not running anything yet. Uh, so you'll, you'll see something in a minute show up there. Um, your LRT, whether it's on or off, the zone that you're streaming from, there's different zones depending where you are in different countries. So if you're using this in different areas, it selects the zone automatically uh, for you, or you can select it you know, individually, but usually it selects uh, the zone that you're closest to based on the area where you're signing in from. And then you have a couple other things up here like analytics, connections. Uh, this is where you can select whether you wanna use ethernet, if you're using Wi-Fi. Uh, so you can just look where, um, when you select Wi-Fi, what Wi-Fi is available to you, which networks you wanna join. All of that's available to you right from within the interface. We also have different things for subscriptions. Uh, support is built in, uh, knowledge base is built in right from within the interface. So very nice. Uh, user interface experience. 
To stream from the solo, it's very straightforward and uh, again, very simple to, uh, to do. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of examples. The first thing you do uh, is just select destination. You're just telling the solo, where do you want to send your signal from your camera or the output from your switcher? Where do you want to send it to? So the first thing you do is click on this button here called select new destination. Uh, when you do that, the first thing you'll do is get our um, destinations page. The top of the page is one touch streaming. So we have one touch streaming with all of these different vendors here, Twitch and Vimeo and LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, et cetera. What that means is if you're the admin of one of these pages, you'll be able to just simply do a one touch stream, meaning you don't have to go get the stream key and the uh, URL from that page and do it manually. You can just simply sign into the account as an admin and just do a stream right to the Facebook page or YouTube page or wherever you want to go without having to get all that information. So I'll show you an example here. I have my Facebook page, my tech corner from LiveView already signed in as the admin. I'll sign into the Facebook destination as logged into my Facebook. I've already been logged in, so I don't have to do anything else there. I'll click on Facebook. And then this screen comes up here. It tells me to add a title. So I'm going to do, I'll call it uh, Facebook demo and say, nothing is on my mind. And I can select my profile, what size I want it to be. I have a bunch of different built-in uh, selections here. Um, and I can select whichever one I want. I can uh, select where I want to stream it to. So if you have multiple multiple Facebook uh, book groups that you're an admin for, you can uh, have those all uh, saved here. Um, in this case, I'm going to send it to my Tech Corner page. I could do scheduled events. I could do live events. And I can even do a preview event, which is really great if you're waiting for somebody to come out to do a presentation and you just don't know when they're going to come out, like a mayor or somebody in a city council meeting, and you want to get the preview going so it's streaming and ready to go live as soon as they come out, you can do a preview event. But in this case, in the demo, we're just going to go live. Um, you also have all the normal things that you'd expect from Facebook uh, uh, posting, like uh, tags and location. Uh, you could do post control, audience restrictions, and, and all of those things as well. But in this case, we'll just keep it very basic. All I do next is hit submit once I finish with that information. As soon as I hit submit, uh, the unit is going to say, OK, I've got all this in here that I want. It comes back and says, your solo unit is configured. I get the destination up here. It says, hey, everything is good to go. It's all configured. Now what do you want to do? Uh, I want to go live. So I'm going to sit here and say, go live. I can say go live right on the interface here, or I can even do go live right on the unit itself just by hitting the uh, go live button. And then the next thing you're going to see on the interface is that you'll see the input bandwidth start up, and then you'll see an, a preview window come up here. So there goes the bandwidth. So that means I'm starting to stream. The preview window is starting to gather the preview, and you'll see the picture uh, come up right away. And as soon as that comes up, that means I'm streaming out to my uh, destination on my Facebook page. And then I can actually turn over and go and see what am I showing? What am I looking at on, uh, on my page? And then if I go over to my uh, page in Facebook, all I have to do is uh, hit refresh here. And then I'll see what I'm streaming out live on my Facebook page. So that's what I'm streaming out here is the picture from my camera. I can go full screen. Uh, I can treat this just like any other post. Uh, I can comment on it. I can like it. It can be shared. And it's that simple. There's no need to do anything else. It's just one click posting and it goes out and it's streaming. So there's showing the current bandwidth. It shows my broadcast is live and there's my preview. Shows me that I did a like on it and everything else. So right from within the screen, without having to go out and get a stream key and manually do it, we're able to do this, what we call a one touch stream, just like that, out to my Facebook page. So again, there it is. I can minimize it, boost it, whatever I wanna do with it, but just like that. And you can probably tell I'm in Pittsburgh with a terrible towel. Uh, that's where I am, by the way, but uh, that's how easy it is. 
Now I can stop the stream just again here or right on the unit itself and click stop. You get a, a confirmation that says the stream is stopped successfully. And then you'll see that the preview goes away, the live stream stop. Again, you're always getting notifications of what you're doing as you go through this and then you're done. The stream will stop over on the tech page and then it archives it just like, uh, like it does a normal Facebook post. And then basically you can uh, delete it. You can do whatever you want to do with it and, and uh, save it or do whatever. So that's how you do a, a quick post on uh, what we call a one-touch streaming. Now below one-touch streaming, we have a bunch of additional streaming destinations, all of these down here uh, that are things like uh, Microsoft Teams and Kaltura and you know, Akamai and generic RTMP and ULA and Vidprezzo. And these are uh, destinations where you can select one, but that's where you need to get your primary URL and the stream key and do those manually. So I'm gonna show you one, uh, how to do one of those to um, another destination. And we'll do this one uh, to YouTube. So I, YouTube is a one touch up here, so I could do a one touch, but I want to show you a generic RTMP real quick to YouTube. So here's my YouTube account right here, uh, and I've got my stream key and uh, everything else in my stream URL. But just like before in the solo page, now I'm going to just say destination name is my YouTube test or demo. Uh, and again, I can select a profile if I want to. I can do, you know, whatever, again, whatever I want to do with it. Uh, and then I go get my primary ingress URL and my stream key. So I come back over to YouTube and here's my stream key. I copy that. I go back over to solo and just put in my uh, stream key by pasting it and then back over to YouTube to get my uh, stream URL, copy and paste. And again, I, oops, I wanna paste the right thing. Paste, there we go. I submit that. And then it says again, you, uh, solo is configured. I say go live, stream has started successfully. And then I go back to my YouTube page here. And then I should say, should see my stream come alive based on uh, the stream key and what I set up um, through the generic RTMP. So there's my live stream connecting. And in a second, you'll see the picture come up. There's the picture. And then if I go back to my YouTube page, I should be able to hit refresh on my YouTube page. And there it is. So again, you could do these one touch streams or you can do these generic RTMPs by getting the stream key, pasting and copying them in. But again, it's really that simple to do when you're working with the solo unit. And then finally, um, I wanted to show one more uh, because a lot of people are using Twitch and uh, uh, I wanted to do that uh, for you. And then just uh, before I do that, let me just show you up here. This is showing the bandwidth. Um, it, it tracks your bandwidth that you're using, what your input is. It tells you what your input is, what you're connected to, how many devices are connected, et cetera. Um, as you're uh, doing these, uh, these events. And once you make a, a generic RTMP, like in this case, it's a generic RTMP, the destination is YouTube. And when I stop it, you'll notice um, at the very bottom, when we go down, uh, once it stops here, you'll see at the very bottom, when we select a uh, new destination again, it will save these RTMP or generic destinations that you create, it'll actually save them so you can reuse them if you want uh, as a saved destination. So the last one I'm gonna do is um, to, uh, to Twitch. So I have a Twitch account open here um, and uh, my son uses Twitch a lot. I don't use Twitch a lot, but I do have one for testing and, and for this purpose for demos. But again, because I'm, I'm set up as, uh, as an admin to Twitch, it already has an ingress and stream key automatically populated. Um, my ingest server, I'm gonna select Chicago, Illinois, and I'll put in a widescreen um, and I'll put in, uh, let's see. 
meaning Beaming Media Demo. And then all I do again is just hit submit and then it's gonna sit there and it says solo unit is configured. Now, in this case, I wanted to show you here is on the front of the unit, you, you can go live just by hitting on the front of, sitting on the front of the unit and sitting, uh, hitting the, the record button, which is this one right here. You just hit it one more, one time and it's probably hard to see, but it says connecting. And then you should hear, you should see the unit start to stream uh, on the, uh, on the uh, interface there. So it starts to, um, do you see the blue? I don't know if you could see it there or not, but there you go. The bandwidth just turned on. Notice that there, um, the bandwidth just started. And then if we go to, if we go over to our, um, our Twitch page, you should see my stream come on. So you could start from the unit, you could start and stop the stream from the unit without having to be in front of an interface. So if you have a profile set up like to Twitch or to YouTube or to Facebook or another place or another destination, you could actually be in the field without a computer or without anything else and actually start the unit and stop the unit um, remotely without having to have the computer with you and be able to do your live shot and it will go automatically to the destination of your choice. And in this case, Twitch, and you don't have to have the computer in front of you and using it and you know having that additional piece of uh, equipment or bulk equipment with you uh, while you're uh, uh, doing your stream. And then the same thing when you're done, um, again, it may be hard to see, I'll try and hold it closer uh, here with the, uh, with the glare there, but you just uh, push your end record um, and it will stop the recording and you'll see on the interface here, I didn't move any of the mice, the mouse or anything like that. It'll stop like it just did. And the band was stopped and the stream stopped and now it's, uh, it's done. So that's simple. And my Twitch stream is over. The video is done on Twitch and I'm ready to do another post or do another stream from the solo unit. So in a nutshell, that's a high level overview of what the solo does and what the live view solo is all about. Um, I hope that was uh, a good overview and something that you guys were looking for and wanted to see today and uh, answered a lot of your questions. And I'll turn it over to the folks at Streaming Media for any questions that we might have. Excellent. That was outstanding, George. Thanks so much. Uh, we've, got, <laughs> we've got about nine questions here. So great. Uh, ho hopefully we'll have, uh, I think we should have time to get through them all. First mm -hmm. question is from Bill Memes. Uh, can you talk about latency a bit more? Is this dynamic or is it set it and forget it? Uh, well, it, really latency is all dependent on the end CDN. Uh, it's not really up to live view uh, on the on the solo unit itself. It depends on the CDN you go to, right? So uh, if you go to Facebook, for example, um, you could have a delay that varies from 10 seconds to 18 seconds. It, it could uh, be that much different, right? And uh, depends on uh, like YouTube, they have ultra low latency now built in. So if you use their ultra low latency selection for YouTube versus their standard latency, uh, it'll vary. So it is variable, uh, the latency on, uh, on how you decide or who you decide to stream with. There's other uh, companies out there like, for example, um, uh, Kaltura and Akamai pay services CDNs that offer a very low latency, but you have to pay for that. Um, so I hope that answers the question, but it is dependent mostly on uh, the CDN that you decide to stream to. Very good. Uh, here's someone who says they are Jeffrey Miller says, uh, as a live solo, use solo customer, we've been challenged to find compatible USB cellular devices, especially on Verizon. Any updates recently or forthcoming in that area? Yeah, so on the uh, we have a web page go uh, go solo that uh, go live. Let me just make sure I say this right, because I, I do get it wrong sometime. Uh, live you dot go yeah go solo. I should have this down perfectly by now. 
go solo. <laughs> Where's Joyce when I need her? Go solo. <laughs> dot live you dot tv i think it is yeah go solo dot live uh this one so on this page here uh the go so go solo dot tv that's the one uh if you go to about live you solo um that section right here has a, a page on how to get usb modems that's the most up-to-date information but i would highly suggest um that you take a look at getting our connect kit the two USB uh, modem connect kit, the AT&T and Verizon connect kit, or the three modem connect kit that I mentioned earlier that includes the Verizon modems. Those are the newest Verizon modems that are certified and tested by LiveU. That's what I would look at. Uh, but this page is the one that gets updated most frequently. Uh, that's on the uh, go so, gosolo.tv page. Excellent. Uh, does the live use subscription or hardware allow for guaranteed quality upgrades, such as for higher resolutions or frame rate when streaming directly to the live view partner platforms like Facebook, Microsoft Teams, et cetera, compared to your standard streaming restrictions or user account limits? No, I think uh, it does. It does not allow for, for, for that. No, uh, it, it's the same for, for everybody. You'd get, uh, the same, same streaming quality for where, whatever platform that you're going to, it's uh, going to be restricted by the, the individual platform. So some platforms will, uh, you can send a 1080 stream to a certain platform and they'll downgrade it to 7, 720, right? And uh, so we we will send the, the, the best quality that we can to that destination CDN. And if they take that 1080 uh, quality in and stream it, then that's on them. And some will not take that high quality and they'll actually downgrade it a little bit. But um, all of the units, the, the solo units will always get the, the same updates. And, uh, but it has nothing to do with our partnerships like with face, Facebook and, and YouTube or anybody else. So it's just really dependent on what the CDN decides to do with the stream. I hope that answered the question. Okay, can uh, the units allow streams to more than one service at once? Uh, no, it's one to one. Uh, so when we do our streams, uh, that's a great question. And a lot of people do uh, streams to multiple destinations. They work with our partners, Restream IO or Switchboard. Uh, and those are the two platforms that people use most often when they want to go to multiple destinations using a live use solo. Okay, Stefan Courtney, or Corti, pardon me, asks, can you prioritize network connections? For example, setting the LAN to high priority and cellular to, cellular to low priority as a backup. Yeah, that's a super, that's a super great question. Uh, that feature is something that we have in our higher end products, uh, but we do not yet have that in the solo today. Uh, we call that least cost bonding. Uh, um, in the in the high end products, but it's not available on the solo today, and I don't know if it'll come to the the solo product in the future. Uh, but that is a great question. Thanks for asking that one. Are you able to stream uh, directly to Zoom from LiveView, or perhaps using Wirecast stream to Zoom using Wire via Wirecast using a LiveView? Yeah. So from LiveView directly to Zoom, no, not today. Uh, we can go to Microsoft Teams, absolutely, and a lot of people use us for that. Um, now, through Wirecast, I'm not completely sure. We might be able to. Uh, I do know people use us uh, to go to Zoom through uh, New Tech, for example. So uh, they may be able to use, use us going uh, through Wirecast. Okay. Uh, can these devices be managed remotely so that the person streamed can also be the person doing the streaming? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the solo web portal, it's it's one of the things that uh, people love is the ability to have uh, people remote at home uh, managing the streaming aspect of it while the photog or reporter or someone is out in the field doing the shoot. So yeah, absolutely. It's a web-based uh, app uh, so they can remotely manage it and uh, control uh, control the stream and set up the destinations from anywhere in the world actually. So. Uh, that's one of the nice features about it. Okay, the next question actually says, can a remote producer monitor the solo? That's sort of in the same ballpark, right? Yeah, uh, that is correct. Absolutely. As long as you give them permissions to do so, uh, they they can actually re uh, remotely monitor it from anywhere. Uh, Michael Heiss is wondering, are there any 5G modems available that are certified for solo? 
Yeah, so there are no, no current 5G USB modems, but for example, I'm using here the, the Netgear Nighthawk, right? And so the Netgear Nighthawk, this one right here is a 5G, it's the little one that comes with our three modem kit. This is 5G uh, enabled. And so this is certified and you can use this uh, as a Wi-Fi hotspot or an ethernet connection, and it has 5G built in. So it's 4G LTE and 5G capable. So if you're in an area that has 5G, this will run off of 5G when it connects to that uh, tower. Excellent. Uh, Keith Davidson says, I work for a telecom. We have our own CDN and cellular network. Is it possible for us to configure the live U to use our own CDN and network? Um, it's possible for you to send uh, the output to uh, your CDN as long as your CDN accepts RTMP, a generic RTMP or RTMPS stream, absolutely. Okay. Uh, if there is no Ethernet connection to bond, will cellular and Wi-Fi produce the same quality picture? That's a question people always have, right? Are they going to experience picture degradation when they go from Ethernet to Wi-Fi and or cellular? Yeah, no, the, the picture quality will be uh, as as good. It's the, the connection, Ethernet's the best connection for sure. It's the most solid and, and reliable, right? But with our, with our patented LRT that we talked about, the Live View Reliable Transport, that's where the quality is gonna be taken care of, right? So if you're connected with multiple modems and Wi-Fi, the quality is gonna be there for sure. But if, if you, you know, from a stability standpoint, reliability standpoint for connection, uh, Ethernet's always the best way to go, but you'll still be able to get a, t a 1080 a signal with good uh, e uh, good Wi-Fi and uh, cellular modems. Uh, just that you know, e even if you didn't have Ethernet, so this unit doesn't require Ethernet to operate. That's for sure. Okay, are solos available for rental or only the higher end models? Um, so solos are not available for rental through live view, but we do have some of our partners that rent solos and you can get them through, uh, our partner channels, our channel partners. Some of them do rent them. Okay. Uh, the, the web platform, uh, is that available on a subscription basis or does it come free along with the hardware? Yeah, it comes free along with your purchase and, uh, that's, in, it's included with your purchase. So there's no additional cost with that. Okay, uh, another, we got a bunch of questions here. We got time for a couple more. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> what service do you recommend or are there services you recommend for doing graphic overlays? Yeah, so there's there are some third party uh, services out there for graphic overlays, the cloud-based services um, that we have in our knowledge base. I don't have those off the top of my head um, that I can think of right now. Um, but I can, you know what, I can respond to that one in an email follow-up. But there are third-party or um, companies that have uh, cloud-based graphics that we do have people using for third-party uh, graphic overlays. So cloud-based ones for sure. Okay. And I'll, I'll answer that in a follow-up email. Excellent. Samuel Shalom is asking specifically about using a live view solo on Nigerian 4G LTE networks. Can you talk about the the compatibility globally with different cellular networks? Yeah, we support, uh, we, we are using, uh, LiveView Solo is used in about, I think it's 136 different countries. Uh, we do have a list that's published on our website and I'd be glad to provide that to anybody who, uh, who needs it or wants it. And I'll, I'll do that as well as a follow-up uh, in an email, but it is published on our website. Terrific. Uh, and our last question, uh, we don't usually, we don't get a lot of these and I, I sometimes am, am hesitant to ask speakers <laughs> to compare their products to their Ooh, competitors, okay. but uh, how does the Live View compare to the AvoWest Air, AvoWest Air series? I've used Live View as a freelancer with another media company and I like the size and ease of use. Yeah, we're much better, of course. That's what <laughs> I'm going to say first off, uh, but I've never used that product and, and I've been here with Live View for five years and I've never uh, come up against it with the, the live view solo. So I'm not sure I really can't comment on it just because I don't uh, really know it. Uh, but I will say that the highlights of our product, I will say this, right? One, lightweight portability. Number two, three hour battery life. Uh, number three, and probably should have been number one is live view reliable transport. That is probably the biggest thing that we're known for the image quality, the reliability, the redundancy. Uh, those are those are huge things for us. And then just 
the sheer number of units that are out there in use today um, and the number of companies that I described early on in my PowerPoint, uh, the, the types of companies and the, the, the volume of users that we have uh, in the space already. Um, you know, we're, we've been around since 2006. We invented the space for bonded cellular transmission. And, um, you know, so take that for what it's worth, I guess. Uh, but, you know, not knowing the product and not knowing anything about it and really not knowing anybody who's using it. I, I wish I could give you more details, but I just, I just can't. Sorry. All right. Well, I appreciate you trying to answer the question and talking yeah. about how, in general, <laughs> LiveU compares to some of the similar products on the market. That wraps up all the time we have for George. George, that was a yep. terrific presentation and demonstration. Thank uh, you. I want to uh, ask Steve Nathans Kelly to join us again. Steve, there you are. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it's a, you know these these things are lifesavers. You know, those of us who've been in the business have done sort of run and gun streaming, you know, just plunk down where you are and you got to get a stream online. You know, we know how valuable these things are. And I think, you know, more recently, you know, we've come to appreciate if we're sending out kits to people in the field or to remote guests, just to be able to have that control and to be able to know that we're going to get a good high quality pro stream out of them, just reliable. We don't have to worry about it. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's great to have. Yeah, no, I agree completely with what you said, uh, Steve. And, uh, I, I thank you guys for having me, and uh, I really hope that uh, everyone enjoyed it, and I look forward to doing this again sometime. Terrific. Thanks so much again, George.